G'day, we are going to connect uh, Madrix to the MA2 and control our strips via this whole system. Uh, first things first, let's start with <laughs> MA2. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the setup menu. Um, we're going to make that onto the screen so I can see it. Sorry, wrong screen. Um, we're going to go to MA network control. We're going to ensure that we are in a network session. because MA likes that stuff. Then we're going to close that out and we're going to patch our Madrix library into the console like any other lighting fixture. We go there, we go from library, we're going to type in Madrix under manufacturer, under the fixture, this is important. You need to scroll down to the version of Madrix you're currently running on your laptop. So if we scroll down to uh, Magix 3, which is what we are running, um, I think the latest version now is 5, but we are running 3 for the case of this demo, um, you've got the option of 26 channel mode and 4 channel mode. We are going to run 26 channel mode. So we're going to import that. 1, 1, fine. Uh, our patch is going to be, we're going to move this away from all our other lighting fixtures. So we're going to start with universe 100.1. And then we're going to hit apply. And that is the lighting desk component of making Matrix work. What we're going to do now is we're going to leave, we're going to save, we're just going to leave that for now and we're going to pop over to the laptop. Okay, on the laptop, a couple of things you have to do. First things first, under device manager, you see here that there's no input, and under DMX input, there's nothing here. What we need to do is we want to enable it, and we want to select the DMX input. Now we want to use MANet, not ARTNET remote. So we've got to make sure that we are turned on the AMA net um, functionality. So I'm going to jump out of there, go back up to preferences, go into options. We're going to flick over to devices network, and then we're going to jump on MA net. We're going to turn that on. We're going to make sure we're talking on the right IP range, which is what the ARTNET one is. Don't ask me why, it just works. It is talking on MA net. We're going to change this to 100, because that's what we patched our console at. We're going to end our universe at 100. Uh, we're going to keep the session ID as 1 and we're going to make sure it's on MA2, not MA1. If you're running MA1, obviously MA1. Um, after that, just going to hit apply. Yeah, OK. Now we're going to go back to that option uh, window we had before in the device manager. As you see, it would have appeared here. Now, don't freak out at the fact that uh, it's saying universe 1 on the other screen that we'll jump to. It's actually MA Universe 100, which you can just see in the video. Um, so we can jump over to DMX input, and so that's what I mean by Universe 1 right there. Don't worry about that too much. We're going to turn on and make sure remote is turned on over here. The DMX in device is going to be our MA net, which is what we just turned on. And that is going to be that. And that is going to be that. We're going to hit OK. I believe we should have control of Matrix via the console from now. So it was a quick test. Let's just load up our smart view. And we'll go fixture one. At zero. There we go, it's at zero, it's 100 and at zero off. And we have data control via the console.